on the road today at the home of a very talented lady, Nadia Batson. She is having an amazing season and we're going to talk to her all about that. Welcome to the lounge. Nadia, I should say welcome to the lounge, but you should really be saying welcome to... <laughs> welcome, welcome to my lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having us. No worries. I'm very tempted to say so long I ain't see you, Nadia. <laughs> automatic responses give me a wine now, so... <laughs> you can say it. I feel like you'll be hearing that phrase forever. forever. Yeah, so this one has now taken over from... Um, Nare, how you gonna do me that? Mm -hmm. No, everywhere I go, everybody is saying, Nare, so long I see ya. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's such a relatable phrase, it's such a relatable song, Nadia. How are you feeling? Are you blown away by the response to your music this year? Um, you know what? I. I am blown away, I'm overwhelmed, I'm overjoyed, but I feel like my dominant emotion is just gratitude. I I can't tell you how many times for the day I just say thank you, thank you, thank you. I honestly I just I'm just thankful and I'm grateful for everything that's been happening. And I'm just happy that, you know, people love this song so much. Yeah. And we feel your gratitude. So yeah. you do there's a, a video of you in tears oh God, from God. All Stars Panyard. I wish I could cry. Eh? That particular clip you were talking about, I went to the All Stars Panyard because of course their song of choice for Panorama 2019 is so long. Um and they invited me there, you know, to meet the band members and when they started playing, where, where they're at right now with the arrangement, listen, I was just like, I was just, oh, I was just overjoyed. That's really what happened. Yeah. And I was telling Dean, because Dean Galston was there, and, and I was like, Dean, I feel like I want to cry. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Funny moment, he started walking towards me. I was like, okay, yeah, that's it there. Just tears. Waterworks. Yeah. yeah. I remember when we spoke at Soka and Moka, you were saying that, this is the biggest season of you that you that you've had, oh. and which which surprised me because you've had big songs. Yeah, I've had many many hits before: Caribbean Girl, One Island, uh, last year Catching Feelings, Cooler Fit, Manager. I've had big songs, but I've never had a song. This is a whole different level for me. This like, is a monster. Listen, I have never experienced anything like this ever, um, where you know. The conversation is Nadia Batson has arguably one of the biggest songs for Carnival. I have never been in that conversation before. Um, so while I've had many hits before, this is a completely different level. Like, <laughs> this is out of the box. And not only do you sing one of the biggest songs, you wrote, wrote another yeah. song <laughs> which is rivaling you for the Rival biggest song. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, for those who don't know, who still don't know, Nadia is the, the songwriter for Hook and Me, which is sung by Farmer Nappy, yes. on the Purple Heart Rhythm as well. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. I mean, you just have two of the biggest songs. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Um, the good thing about it is, and I have to thank Farmer too, because this thing, we didn't plan this like this. Um, what happened was um, the Red Boys, who did a fantastic job with the on the production of it, um, I wrote Hook and Me for Farmer. Right. I wrote it like at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, right? Now, Farmer is a real character if you know Farmer, right? So, I sent him a WhatsApp message at like 4 in the morning. I said, you want big tune? Hold a big tune. So, <laughs> and I was teasing him. Listen, I think Farmer called me immediately. Farmer was listening to this song over and over and over all day the next day. Um, he was, and I just sent a demo, right? Um, and he was like, Nads, you have to go on this rhythm too. Whoa. And I was like, I ain't going on no rhythm. He was like, no, you have to go on the rhythm because I know Red Boys don't really do rhythms, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He said, don't worry about Red Boys. I will talk to Red Boys. Um, I said, Farmer, if we're doing this, it has to be you and I alone. Wow. That's it. I said, don't come and ask me to write nothing else on the rhythm. It's just going to be the two of us. Um, and he insisted the next day. I didn't have a song yet. He was like, Nadi. Go on, write a tune. Go on, write a song. Go on, write a song. Um, and then one night I was just in the studio. I was like, just pull up the purple hard there because farmer just on my case. So 
Um, and then the idea for so long came, I don't even know how it came, to be honest. Um, and that was it. What happened next, neither of us expected. I could imagine how you feel. Ha yeah. Has it has it sunk in yet? No. Or it's just no. really like surreal to you what's it, going on? <laughs> A lot of people have been, you know, have been saying, no, you, you, you should expect it when you hear when you hear that song, you should know there's going to be a big tune. The thing about it is with, with music, I always tell people there's no set formula. You never know what's going to happen. Never. Sometimes the song you thinking, this is it. The people are going to love it. They're taking that on yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At all. But what I've learned over the years too is just go with what the people love. And once the people love a particular song, just go with it. And you know so long is going to get even more legs when the foreigners start to Boy, come in. Listen, they are going crazy for that song already. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I can't tell you how many messages I get on a daily basis, like in my DMs on Facebook, everybody saying, Nadi, you make me buy a ticket. You made me buy a ticket to come home. You and farmer. I'm telling you, it is just it's just amazing. I just wanna say thank you, you know. I am just I am just overjoyed. Um and I am really enjoying watching how much you love this song. Um I think a lot of times when I'm performing, the looks on the faces, that's sometimes what gets me emotional because people love this song so much. They don't even know what to do with themselves. <laughs> they they start singing these days I don't even have to sing. From the time I come on the stage, from the time I say, eh, eh, that's it. Look who, you know how long we have. They, they just, they don't even know what, how to respond. They don't know what to do. And I love watching that. So just thank you. That's all I have to say to my fans. As well as make sure you get your tickets for February the 13th at Estate 101 Art Form. Yeah. Nice. Thank you again, Nadia. You're very welcome. You've been watching The Lounge. <laughs>